just one week after a federal judge dismissed cases involving hundreds of men who were sexually abused over a 20 year period by an Ohio State University doctor, sources tell NBC4 that each of the plaintiff groups will file a notice of appeal within the 28 day federal deadline. More than 300 men filed Title IX claims against the university. And Judge Michael Watson acknowledged in his opinion that university leaders knew Dr. Richard Strauss was a sexual predator, but they turned a blind eye to decades of abuse. Nonetheless, the cases were dismissed because the judge found they were outside the statute of limitations. One of the victims, who until now has been an anonymous John Doe in the litigation, tells me he's now willing to share his story because he believes people do not understand that in his eye the case is not about money. Gary Avis says it's about the university acknowledging its failure to protect students and making sure it doesn't happen again. The power dynamics in this case and any type of sexual assault are always extremely important whether it involves uh, men or women it's because the perpetrator has this sense of, has power over you so with the athletes dr strauss could actually say no he's not medically fit to compete we have you know throughout the time when he was there we have national champion athletes world champion athletes and he could just say no he can't compete it's like uh, he holds your future in his hands University tells us that over the past 20 years, Ohio State has committed substantial resources to prevent and address sexual misconduct, including an anonymous reporting system. You can find a link to all the university resources at NBC4i.com. More on that tonight at 11, and we will have Gary Avis's entire story, what Dr. Strauss did and how it impacted his life. And we've been covering the Strauss abuse scandal for more than three years now. You can find past reports at NBC4i.com by searching Culture of Cover-Up.